So right now I have this little uh, heat lamp that I just threw in here. It's a spare for the chicken coop. And it's connected over here to an extension cord. Extension cord's right there. Zoom in on it a little bit. And that is just not enough to light up my greenhouse. I'm getting older and I need extra light. It's still a little bit light outside, so it's not too bad. But I'm going to be connecting it in to my battery pack back here that's going up to my solar array. Because I want to get rid of the extension cord. I want to have a lot of light in here so I can start all my starts. So let's go ahead and figure out what we got in these LED light bars. These are about 40 bucks from Amazon. Uh, two lights in it. Pop this one open. Be careful not to go through too much. So. Here's one of them. Just a little red and black on there. Positive and negative. Second one. Need to make sure I remember to take the cover off this thing, otherwise it'll melt on there. Then I got the wiring harness and some mounts. So I didn't know if I was going to need more wire, so I went and got some extra just in case. So I'm going across the greenhouse, not just to the back of the truck. You got two fuses, three fuses actually, and then some push-in connectors. Quite a bit of wire here. Let's see how much wire this is. And toggle switch. Cool. So I got looks like I got about 10 feet on this side uh, going to the relay and then six feet on this side going to the switch and about two feet maybe a foot and a half uh, go into the battery connection So it looks like I only got about eight feet of wire to work with so I'm probably gonna need the uh, Extra wire that I picked up in order to get around in the greenhouse But this is pretty nice uh, Looking for the fuse See if it has a fuse in it already also Probably not probably one of the few oh. So one extra fuse in there too. So that's pretty good. So I got a 15, three 15s, and it looks like a, haven't opened up a 10. So three 15 fuses and a 10 fuse. Don't quite know. This is probably, the 10 is probably for your car or truck. Won't even need that one because I'm in a greenhouse. And of course the on off switch little bit long for the on off switch for me because I'm only going to need very short but I can tuck this back behind my uh, uh, wall there where I'm going to be putting the switches so let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do with this thing so I'm starting by putting just a three quarter inch hole in the side of this board that I mounted up here and this is for the switch and that way I can hide some of these wires, put it inside uh, this one, I, and I'm going to put one right about here. The uh, top one will be for the outside lights, and the bottom one I'm going to put in is going to be for the inside lights. That way I know which one I'm flipping on when I reach my hand in here. So for the relays back here, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these roofing screws. Uh, they'll fit pretty good into it. 
and I'll be able to put it right back here. Now, I can use my positive down here, my negative over here, have plenty of room. I have a lot of cord to go down and connect. I have a lot of cord here uh, that'll connect to the switch, and then I'll go off with the wires. All right, so I moved the relay over a little bit. So I have one relay here, and then putting some wire stables in coming across it's fairly loose over the top and over to where I'm going to be putting the first light the second wire put put around I'm going to have to put uh, uh, another piece of wire on to get down to the other side where I'm going to be going that's way down here on this side of the greenhouse now I do like the mount that came with this thing. Uh, you know, it has a screw in it. Uh, this is going to go onto the wall. And then in here, as you can see, they have a floating screw. So I'll be able to put it in, lock it down, flip it around this way is what I'm probably going to have to have it. And then I can adjust it. Loosen it up, adjust it. If I want to turn a little bit, I can turn a little bit. So that's going to give me a good, uh, good angle. So pretty cool. Since this is not a truck, I'm going to go ahead and drill a couple holes in a piece of flashing that I just bent over. Uh, so double it up, give it a little bit more strength. Real cheap. Didn't want to spend any money. It's not a truck, uh, so it doesn't have the mounts already on it on the light bar. All right, so when I put up this uh, piece of uh, sheet metal here, the flashing, I bent it just a little bit, just turned it a little bit, so that way I can get a good angle on here. I'm gonna leave this fairly loose, but I can angle this straight down, or I can bring it back and even use it while I'm filming so that way it shines that way and uh, nice and bright I'm going to sort of put it hand tight if this was on a truck or something yeah I'd want this thing you know wrenched down pretty good but uh, all in all I can turn it angle it the way I want to inside of a greenhouse to get it right where I'm working I'm trying to put it onto my workbench back here and I can go ahead and adjust it once I get in here and actually uh, hook up the wires that I have right here. Uh, let me put up the other one over on the other side and run some cable. Uh, one thing I noticed, I am going to need about, oh, it looks like about 10 feet of uh, wire to go to the other side. Luckily, uh, the kit comes with some extra connectors so that's going to make my job a lot easier because the connectors will already be the right size all right so got them wired in they're sitting up here one on the other side one on this side this one might flow up throw off the camera or something but i'm going to go ahead and turn off this light so this is how bright it is in here with just a solar, little tiny solar battery powered uh, garden lamps I got in here. It's bright enough to just look around and be able to, you know, a little bit of mood lighting, but I can't do any uh, seed starting in here with lights like this. So here goes nothing. We're going to hit this thing. Uh, hopefully it doesn't blow up on me. So three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! This is nice. Um, yeah, I know this thing's just too bright for the camera right now. Um, but this is solar powered light and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this uh, camera around and uh, come over here, loosen it up a little bit. So come around, there's my workbench. 
This thing is very bright. So once I get my bench cleaned off of all my building stuff, I'll be able to come over here uh, and grab my seed start and uh, stuff. I got all of my stuff ready to go for the year. And uh, just awesome. Uh, I think I need, might, might need to adjust this a little bit. I got a little bright spot right here and nothing else. But this is awesome for just brightness. I can see everything I'm doing. Even getting old, you know, getting cataracts maybe. Um, I'll still be able to sit here and work. Yeah, I'll have a little bit of shadow, but not a problem. It's over my shoulders, they're both coming down. This is awesome. Now, I wanna go and do outside because I wanna put the other switch out in my garden. Uh, Pacific Northwest, we get shorter days in the winter time in the fall. So I wanna be able to go outside flip on the Briggs Bright spotlights like this and work in the garden. So I am so excited about this. This is awesome. All right, check this out. Whew. This is bright out here. It's dark outside, but my greenhouse uh, is powering the lights to my garden. That is just a trip. I can come out here Got a little shadow, but come out here. Work over in this area. I can come into my greenhouse, this one, and do a little work if I need to, move some plants around. But this is just wild. Check that out. 150 watts coming down. Just crazy. This is awesome. I'm really excited. I can come over here, work in a bed. If I need one to go over there, I can adjust the lights. All right, so I just turned on the lights. It's been about five minutes since I turned them on and we are at 12.6 volts on the batteries. I'm gonna come back in about an hour and see where we're at. All right, so it's been about an hour. We're still at 12.6 volts on the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off for the night. Don't need it, save it for when I'm actually growing. But these lights, get you up there, get a nice bright view of it. Uh, these lights are actually 120 watt uh, lights. So we're pulling that 10 amps out of them. So these things should last, with my two batteries here, a good 20 hours if I were leaving them on uh, the whole time. But they charge back up a little bit during the day with the 400 watts of uh, solar panels I got up on top. So pretty good. All right, so up potting's been going pretty good got a whole bunch of seedlings started here so getting ready for the market here in about a month as you can see got light in here it's starting to get dark outside I'm gonna go shut off the light really quick let you see what it's gonna look like in here without the light and this is what it looks like camera brings out a little bit more light in here but actually I can't even see how many starts are in these things. Uh, really dark in here for me, uh, so I just need the extra light. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back on. All right, light there, light there. Uh, that's shining right down this spot. The other one's shining down here. Uh, it's lighting up all my seed starts. That way I can just pop these little babies out. Push them down in here, cover them up, and I got some starts ready. 
So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening and have a great day.